We've got another one, boys. Now, I thought I'd seen the biggest weapon on TikTok, but I was clearly mistaken because today I'm going to bring you the biggest mad lad weapon I've ever seen in my entire life. He does not give a shit. When people talk about warriors of our time, they might go, oh, Conor McGregor, oh, Floyd Mayweather, oh, Tyson Fury, but none of them even compare to this bloke. I mean, even his name is gruesome. At this moment in time, he is the craziest motherfucker on this planet, and his name is... Kyle. Oh, fuck it out. So basically, Kyle's just one of those, you know, TikTok cringy kids. You know, classic, his content's a little bit wet. But I'm not really here to roast him on that aspect today. I mean, when I was about his age, I was doing this, wasn't I? Yo, what is up, guys? It is Sheree Sandstone here. So you might be thinking, why the fuck is your little beanhead even on my screen then? Well, Kyle's done something a bit dodgy. Now, just before we do get into what Kyle's done, if you are new around here and you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. I do daily uploads on this channel and you don't want to miss one. Leave a like on the video it helps me out a lot and at the end of every video i read out my favorite comment from last video so stick around to the end to see if it was you and leave your comment down below so you can feature in the next one all right let's go right so the problems kind of arise with this tiktok <laughs> Right, so let's just ignore that atrocious ending for a second and i'll just play back the middle part for you wait i got a second call what did you just say Oh dear. Now, being of Nigerian descent myself, I take great offence in the use of this word. Right, for the rest of this video, I'm no longer just Kesatron. I'm Kesatron, officer of the N-word, please. Nah, but seriously though, why, why did you do that? Just pick another song, mate. Like, obviously I'm just this, like, white, lanky, skinhead bloke, so I don't really think it's my place to be going around telling people what they can and can't say. But, mate... I don't think you should be saying it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it is just a bit dodgy. I don't even think he had an N-word pass. But honestly though, what goes through someone's head when they think uploading a TikTok of them mouthing the N-word is a good idea? I mean, it's just gonna end badly, isn't it, mate? Just save yourself some hassle and don't say it. Really not that hard. So the story continues. Inevitably, somebody called him out on it and told him to delete it. I feel like when people usually get caught saying the N-word on social media, it's usually like by accident or they don't really mean to say it. Like PewDiePie, for example. What a fucking n So when I saw this originally, I was hoping it was the same sort of situation. Unfortunately, uh, it's not. So this isn't actually my messages, but somebody else called him out and told him to like delete the post. And um, this this was his response. Now you've started on me. It's strange how you've picked and picked at something so it turns into an argument, yet you haven't said a word about anyone else. So basically his reasoning for using it was other people use it. And then when he got called out on it, he tried to say, oh, why would you pick on anyone else? I saw that Nigerian bloke say the N-word the other day. Pick on him instead. I still don't think he's deleted the post either. Oh, fuck it out. Just a reminder, these messages are coming from this kid. Geezer alert. I got on a plane just to film this. Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Well. You didn't, did you? You went on your family holiday and decided to film a three second TikTok while you're on the plane. I think you just the definition of an absolute weapon, isn't it? Anyway, I just kind of thought this was like an interesting situation. Like, I'm not really making this video to try and call him out for being a racist or anything. I don't really feel like it's my place to do that. I don't know, I just think the whole situation's a bit dodgy and it could just be like so easily avoided. I think what gets me is after someone's called him out on it and was just like, listen mate, just, just delete it. He starts going, no, you've started on me. I don't know, it's just a bit dumb, isn't it? All right, so just before we go, it's time for my favorite comment from last video. So my favorite comment comes from Yo Alex. He says, I'm going to watch Casertron at 3am. So he comes to my house, one like, and I'll eat his buttocks. Bit too normal, that comment, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck it hell. Thanks anyway. Anyway, I'm kind of interested to see what everyone else thinks about this. So leave a comment down below saying what you think about this whole situation. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe with notifications on. Leave a like on the video and leave your comment down below so you can feature in the next one. And I will see you tomorrow.